Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to show you how you can do a sidechain using Audioscope inside Loopy Pro. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So I have created a new project. I went up here on the top left, select this icon, select a new project. I've already done that. Uh, if you already have something open, it will ask you to discard changes. And then it might also create a channel here on the left hand side of the mixer view uh, where you have your standard input, which might be the microphone from your iOS device or other device, or including, for example, an audio interface. And in this case, I had one and I already removed it. So next, what I'm going to do, I'm click on the plus sign, I'm going to add MIDI, and I'm going to use Cobot 2 for creating a code progression. So I'm going to open it and I'm going to create a code progression as simple as that. I have used that many times before. Next, I'm going to add an audio unit input and I'm going to choose actually um, why not button synth? And uh, I'm going to link the two where it says uh, destination here for core button two. I click on the plus sign and select button synth. Now I open button synth. I maximize this view. I go to the preset, select pad. I scroll down and I choose uh, a preset, like in this case, um, rattlesnake. Then I exit that view and adjust a little bit the master volume because I know it could be actually quite high. Next, I want to have something that will drive the side chain. So I'm going to click on the plus sign and add another audio unit input. And in this case, I'm going to select the Digistick 2. I'm going to open it up, sync into the host, which in this case is uh, Loopy Pro. Scroll down and create a simple pattern using the bass drum like so. Now let's click play and it will tell me to set the tempo. I'm going to click here on 120, click enter to set that and also set it to record for measure for now. Let's click play. Okay, you hear now um, code. Um, which are generated from Cobot 2 here, which uh, are sent as MIDI messages to Buttersynth. And then, of course, Buttersynth is playing that part. Now, let's um, set, it, first of all, Buttersynth to um, go only to one channel, like so, orange channel, which is uh, fine. And then what we're going to do is to add audio scope. So you can add it post or pre faders. doesn't really matter depending on what you're doing. So let's add audio scope, like so. And then also add again audio scope at another instant, not the same instance. Okay, so a new one. So we collect the first one. We rename these to um, something like path, so we know um, which one it is. We go to the second one, and we are going to click to the name, and we are going to uh, type in this case drums and click set. Okay. So now let's reopen that audio instance of audio scope. We have part selected. Let's go to the compressor. We click on side chain down here, and then we click select drums, and then we say side chain. When you side chain, just uh, um, uh, bring down the threshold in decibel to this level. So let's click play. Now to hear it better, let's go here on the output and select this none for drums and also remove the output channel. In this case, we will hear only the pad, which are side chained by the bass drum coming from Digistick 2. And of course, now you can continue doing your own work uh, in Luby Pro. So let's click on the orange color to record uh, what is coming from Buttersynth. Okay, let's stop that. Let's uh, um, remove the output channel here from uh, um, from Buttersynth. Okay, and now let's press on the orange color and activate it when the play is on. And uh, this is how you do side chain using audio scope inside the Loopy Pro. Really straightforward. I hope you enjoyed the short tutorial. See you next time. Bye.